I don't think there can be any more difficult question to try to speak on than the subject of suffering. So I don't want to offer twee answers or overly simplistic answers to something that most of us, in all honesty, at some point think about. We look at an amazing creation and yet in many ways there is so much injustice and no more uh, unjust things happen and seem to happen many times to good people than this subject of suffering. But I do want to try and say something or things at least that have helped me in my, uh, you know, my 25 years really as a Christian and of course as a church pastor having to encounter many people who suffer and a lot more than me. I'm standing actually just over to my right is the West Pier in Brighton. A hundred years ago it was new, beautiful, uh, a fabulous architectural achievement in Brighton. Today it's a, a burnt out wreck and really ready to be demolished. And in many, many ways many of us you know, as we grow older and, and enter old age can look at our lives the same way. What was once so beautiful seems to age badly and not just externally but you know for many of us inside too. I mean many people inside who are very, very troubled by things that have gone on. So how, do, how could I even endeavour to, to answer it? Let me say a few things. The first thing is instinctively all of us as human beings know suffering's wrong. I've never met anyone who's sick who doesn't go straight to the doctor or try and seek help. We know there's something unjust and something wrong with it. I believe that's given to us by our Creator and it tells us something about his nature. How do we know it's wrong? I remember with Live Aid many years ago, and forgive me if you're not from the United Kingdom, that Bob Geldof stood up banging his fist. He was very angry, he was swearing, and he, he was demanding really from the British public money. Give us your money. Because he knew, as we instinctively all know, that people starving in Africa is not right. I could quote Freud. Freud said about God, he said he would, he would hold up to God a, a cancerous bone of a child and, and just kind of throw it in God's face and say, what about this? And my question is, how can Freud know? How can he know that that is wrong? So the first part of suffering is there is instinctively in all of us, I think, a, a knowledge that it's wrong. Some of the best advice I've ever had really in, in, in saying or preaching, I preach every Sunday or most Sundays, is to preach that life is hard. And life is hard and it is difficult, I think, for all of us in contrast to the kind of celebrity culture that we see, this glitz and glam that we all really know it's not true. Uh, secondly, I could answer the question of suffering and say, look at the paradise that we live in and yet look at the, the extreme waste, the waste of water, the waste of food, the technological advancements that the human race has gained that isn't used to alleviate the suffering of many not just in the third world, but elsewhere. There's something deeply wrong with human nature. There's something deeply wrong with each one of us and our response to other people's suffering, in my opinion. Thirdly, um, Jesus was asked this question. And you may or may not like his answer. You can look it up. Uh, Luke narrated it, the doctor, in Luke chapter 13. You can find a Bible. Jesus was asked... What about a tower, a tower that fell? It killed 18 innocent people. He was also asked about blood that Pilate was mixing. Galileans, people, Jesus' own people. Pilate was mixing their blood. He was torturing and killing them, mixing their blood and sacrificing it. And they came to Jesus with these incredible injustice and said, Jesus, what about that? And Jesus, who we believe is the Son of God, answered that question very directly and gave what is an incredibly difficult answer. He said, unless you repent, you too will perish. And I suppose the answer, the ultimate answer for me to suffering is that one day everything will be reconciled and squared. And it isn't just about this life. Now I know that's a, a hard place to get there if you're suffering or you know, you, you're not sure who Jesus is or whether I can believe that. But if this is all there is, then yes, this is a, a pretty awful life for many people. But if there's another life, if there's a squaring up of the injustices in this one, if what Jesus said was true, then that will answer some of these very difficult questions. So again, thank you for listening. Please do email or um, ask me more questions if you'd like to. But I hope it's gone some way to at least endeavouring to answer 
what is a profoundly difficult question.